Now we will see how to create a column of positives and negatives. If you go to Assessment Tools, Type of Evaluation, we can create the new type of uh, column, which is positives and negatives. We go to the plus, we write down a title, we select, for example, numeric value, we set that the default value, which will be zero, for example, and the minimum value, which is one, and then we click save. Now that we have this type of evaluation, we can go to the group and we create another column. We put a name, for example, plus minus, and we select the new type of evaluation we created. We click save, and now we can write down how many positives or how many negatives um, the student has. For example, minus three means she or he has um, three negatives. Now that every student has their negatives or their positives set up, it's time to calculate, uh, for example, a final grade in which um, it takes into account the negatives or the positives. We will create a new column and we will put a name on it, for example, final grade, and we will select the type of evaluation, calculations, calculated formula. We click save, and now we have a, a formula generator. The formula will be, for example, the initial test or the final exam, for example, the final exam, and we will uh, add or subtract the, the positives or the negatives. We will choose, for example, the positive and negatives, and every positive or every negative will, will, will count as 0, 0,3. So we will do this, and now the formula uh, shows um, the, the negatives and the positives. So if a student has a, a positive, it adds to the formula. And then if, it, if the student has negatives, it subtracts from the formula. So the final grade takes into account how many positives and negatives the student has. That's so easy.